My name is Clay. In 2005 to 2006, I studied and perfected the art of bank robbery. I was never caught. However, I did spend time in prison because about five months after my last robbery, I confessed and served a little over three years. First, did you have a mentor who taught you this trade and its intricacies? Second, was there any community of bank robbers where you discussed your activities? First, it was only through the internet that I read countless stories of failed robberies and about robbers who got caught. Second, no, and I never told anyone what I was doing. One of the most important rules I learned while studying this topic is that a significant portion of arrested robbers got caught because they didn't work alone. Therefore, I didn't tell anyone what I was doing, not even my wife or best friend. If you could go back in time, would you choose the same path? How do you make a living now? Thank you. Yes, although I admit guilt for what I did, the time spent in prison, the experience gained, and finding myself, as well as my purpose in life, have, in a way, given my life meaning. It's hard to regret something that ultimately turned out for the better. Would you harm someone who stood between you and your freedom? It all depends on the situation. If it was just some random guy trying to cause trouble, I'd likely do whatever it takes to evade capture because that's the challenge. But on the other hand, if it was a police officer, security guard, or any other trained and armed individual, I'd probably surrender instead. Can you tell me about your bank robbery method? Sure, I would enter the bank, wait in line like a regular customer, and rob the tellers I got to in sequence. I would simply approach them when they became available and instruct them, usually through a handwritten note on an envelope, to give me all the bills in denominations of 50 and $100. Did you threaten them? Or did you just say, give me the money, and they complied? I didn't use any threats. I simply told them what I wanted and they complied. That's how America works. The amount a bank loses in such robberies, typically five, $7,000 on average, is much less than what they could lose if something catastrophic happened with a full house of customers in the bank. Did things ever not go according to plan? Yes, my last robbery didn't go according to plan. The cashier panicked as soon as I started heading towards the exit. She began shouting, lock the door, lock the door. But I decided not to pay attention to her and continued walking as if nothing had happened. I managed to leave before the doors closed, but a guy who wanted to enter the building a few seconds later couldn't. He was visibly frustrated for the rest of the workday. He probably thought he had missed his chance and that the bank had already closed. Obviously, he had no idea that the person who walked out of the bank and passed by him had just robbed it. Did you carry a weapon with you? What was it like being in prison? No, I strapped a crowbar to my leg under my pants just below the knee in case I needed to break down a door, but I never carried a gun or any other weapon. As for prison, it was like a Christian camp, just without women and priests. I often played chess, read many books, and of course wrote. The day when mail is delivered to the prison is the happiest for most inmates. There are some really bad people there, but in reality, nobody is looking for trouble unless you really provoke someone. However, if someone deliberately seeks trouble, it's easy to find it there. Although most of the time, it's people Peaceful if someone has their head screwed on right, they'll quickly figure out what's what. What led you to rob a bank and what made you surrender? Bank robbery is the epitome of the American dream. We make movies about it, and people admire bank robbers, except in cases where they kill or maim innocent people. Besides, I saw it as a worthy challenge. I thought it would be a real accomplishment if I could pull it off without getting caught. I always felt like I would end up in prison sooner or later. I had that feeling even before I started committing crimes, and I concluded that it would be better to surrender myself and go through it. But the main reason is that I became a father and decided to serve my sentence while my son still died doesn't understand anything, rather than fear that the police will catch me and arrest me in front of my child when he grows up. How much time did it take to plan? It took about five or six months to plan my first robbery. Mostly, I read about the reasons why robbers get caught and crafted a plan, trying to avoid similar circumstances. It's nearly impossible to learn how to plan a successful robbery because such cases are rarely reported in the news. But studying cases where robbers failed was very helpful to me. After successfully executing my first robbery, planning subsequent ones took much less time. What did you do with the money you stole? I spent a large portion of it on various charitable foundations and donated to those in need or to some good cause. I also donated a sum to a local charity organization that helps families of first responders who died in the line of duty. Can you tell me more about the robbery process? How did you choose the bank? What attire did you use? Did you wear a disguise? What did you say to the teller? Where did you hide after the robbery? 
The main principles were to try to look like a regular bank customer, wait until a teller becomes available, hand them an envelope, and instruct them to put all the 50 and $100 bills into it. No weapons, no threats, no action movie scenes, no masks, nothing like that. Just an ordinary customer. I spent the same amount of time as usual. Plus, I often chose a time when there was a shift change in the police, usually around three in the afternoon. After the robbery, I would go to a diner to grab a bite and calm down. Why were you never caught? Aren't there cameras in banks? Of course, there are cameras. But what does it matter if nobody could recognize me? What can the police do with a photo of my face and a description of my appearance? On a scale from 1 to 10, how fun was it? Were you scared? I can hardly call it fun. In a way, it was like sex to me. Everyone can come up with their own definition of what it's like, but no words can accurately convey the feeling. It's just hard to describe. How did your first time go? I imagine it was scary. How did the police react when you turned yourself in? The first time was scary, and I was really nervous. I arrived in advance, parked, and sat in the car for a long time, but I couldn't calm down. I went home and returned the next day. It was the only time I chickened out. I never felt fear again after that. Actually, it's impossible to pull off something like this when you're feeling scared. Fear interferes with rational thinking. The police behaved like true professionals. They sent a SWAT team to the hotel address I gave them, so they definitely scared me. But nobody beat me up or anything like that. Once they handcuffed me and I told them everything, Thing. They treated me like a star. It even surprised me. They didn't ask me why I did it, at least not in the way they usually do, during interrogations. It was more like admiration and curiosity. What was the maximum amount of money you took from a bank? Not much. One time I took about $7,000 from a bank. Have you ever been afraid of receiving marked bills or someone noticing you getting into your car? Were you always so calm? I would never have the nerves to pull off something like this. But if I did, I imagine I would become a real paranoid and be afraid to spend the money anywhere. I never feared it. I always took 50 and $100 bills. The thing is, they only mark $20 bills, so there's nothing to fear. And as for someone noticing me, I wasn't worried because I would get into my car, always parked, so that I couldn't be seen from the bank, for example, from the other side of a neighboring building. Did your wife and relatives know that you were robbing banks, or was it your terrible secret? I didn't tell anyone about it. I didn't want to burden them with it, but that's not the main reason I kept it from them. I just knew that the chances of getting caught sharply increase when several people know about the job. At the same time, it didn't seem like some terrible secret to me. For me, it was just a job I occasionally did. I'm quite reserved, so it wasn't difficult for me to keep my mouth shut. Do you think much has changed in the world of bank robbers since you were involved? While cameras have gotten somewhat better, it seems that even now, robbers can only get caught because of their own stupidity. Even when the robber's face is clearly visible on camera, they still manage to get away with a few thousand dollars. It's quite an intriguing conversation. Also, this year I'm planning to meet with bank employees, and I'm excited about the opportunity to talk with them. Cameras are much better now than they were in 2006, and now there are social networks, the existence of which in those years we could only imagine in our worst nightmares. A lot has changed, but despite these circumstances, such minor robberies are not so important to the banks themselves. They actually don't lose that much money because of individual robberies. If you do everything as I did, you won't really surprise anyone. But on the other hand, if you bring a weapon and start shooting in the bank office, much more serious forces will be deployed to catch you. Because if a customer is harmed during the robbery, it will cost the bank much more than just a few thousand dollars that one of the tellers will put in your envelope. Do bank robbers in prison bond with each other? Do they share stories and form friendships because they specialized in the same crime? Yes, even though it's strange. It seems to me like how people bond when they do the same job. What rules of conduct did you follow during the robberies? Did the presence of children influence you? Were you prepared to commit violence? No violence. I tried to behave like an ordinary person. When it was my turn, I handed the cashier a note, asking them to give me the money. I almost always immediately told them that I didn't have any weapons with me, nor any intention to harm anyone. In which of the films is the robbery scene, depicted realistically enough, from the planning stage to the aftermath of the robbery? I believe that no film depicts all of this realistically. Hollywood, in general, has big issues with realism. You wouldn't ask which of the adult films is the most realistic, would you? All films are by default, the product of directors' and screenwriters' fantasies. But if I had to choose, I'd pick the robbery scene from the movie Office Space. What were your thoughts when you were committing the robberies? Did you experience a powerful rush of adrenaline? Were you afraid? Nervous? I'd like to understand what a person feels when they commit such a crime. Thank you.
I felt like I was on a roller coaster. There's a sense of danger, but overall you feel quite calm and think rationally. Naturally, it's much more intense than a roller coaster, but that's the only comparison that came to mind. It was insane and frightening at the same time, but for some, fear and madness may be the only way to find pleasure in life. Thanks to everyone for watching. Write in the comments. What would you like to ask a bank robber? See you in the next episode.